the monster is coming. The monster is coming. Oh no. Buddy, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Colossal. Colossal is written and directed by Nacho Vigalando, and the film stars Anne Hathaway, Jason Sudeikis, and Dan Stevens. So, Colossal is about this young woman played by Anne Hathaway. She is an alcoholic, but then Dan Stevens, as her boyfriend, now ex boyfriend, dumps her. Anne Hathaway's character is forced to move back home. When she moves back home, she bumps into to Jason Sudeikis who is someone that she went to elementary school with so the two friends had their little reunion but then they discover this monster attack that's been happening quite often in Seoul and I'm not gonna really spoil why that happens because I went to this film not really knowing anything I know at Hathaway's in it and Jason Sudeikis and Dan Stevens and I got to see this movie at Alamo Draft House because that's the only theater in my area that's playing this film so I was really intrigued to see this film and I have to say coming out Colossal I had a lot of fun with this film this film is actually a very intriguing movie it's a very original story for sure it's very original and I really want to be careful when I talk about this film because it is honestly going to be hard without giving away anything very spoilerish. So I will be as spoiler free as possible with Colossal. Anne Hathaway, she's terrific here. She is just so good in this film. She really does such a great job of playing this alcoholic, this woman that she's trying to get better after Dan Stevens dumps her in the film she tries to get better as the film progresses her character i really don't want to spoil because her character is very very important to the story but all i'll say is she definitely does have an interesting character and i really liked where the film took her character and by the end of it she ended up being one of the most memorable characters i've seen this year so far she really does have such a great character to her and jason sudeikis as her elementary friend i really liked him he was so good and his character is really not one-dimensional of course i can't spoil why but he's definitely not a one-dimensional character and they take some turns with this character that i really wasn't expecting but it was in the best possible way and dan stevens although he only shows up here and there in the film he doesn't really have a huge role i did think he was pretty good in this film as well as the other guys that were are part of jason sudeikis group i thought those guys did a very good job acting in this film this is not your typical monster movie i would even say even though this is a monster movie do not go in expecting some huge battle because you're not gonna really get that and I think it works honestly in that sense how Colossal was able to make this a monster movie but not really have any big battles in it I actually thought it was handled very well it works for the overall storytelling of how they handle this whole monster storyline and there is another character we meet later that isn't just a monster we have a monster and then we have something else and where they go with that I thought was just so well written and that's the thing I have to say right now the script is brilliant Nacho Vigalando did such a good job of writing the script making this film just so intriguing he just has you constantly figuring out what's gonna happen and I have to say he did a very good job this is also a very unpredictable film I honestly did not know where this film was going to be honest especially with the climax Wow, where Nacho went with the climax of the film, that was 
brilliant. And as far as his direction too, he did a really good job directing this film. I thought the cinematography looked very beautiful. I was able to find myself immersed in the atmosphere that Nacho Vigalando was building. And even how the movie teases you with Anne Hathaway's backstory because they don't reveal her full backstory when she was a little girl until like later on the film. But how it would constantly tease you throughout, I actually thought was very clever. And the opening scene, it felt a little out of place when it opened. It just kind of made me go, okay. But then when they reveal a certain detail later on in the film, the opening scene actually did make more sense. And I just have to give a lot of credit to Nacho. You can tell that he loves monster movies because when I was at Alamo Draft House, before the movie started, they would show these movies that Nacho Vigalando was influenced by. Like one of them was The War of the Gargantuas. And watching this film, you could definitely tell that he was influenced by those monster films. But giving it his own spin, which I thought made this definitely one of the most original movies of 2017. Now, the only criticisms I will give Colossal is that this movie is about two hours long. It is close to there. And I did feel the running time definitely just a little bit. I'd say more like in the middle section is where I did start to feel the pacing, but it was just a little bit. The tone for the film really is uneven, to be perfectly honest. The comedy definitely is very well done. I did laugh plenty of times watching this film, but I say the tone's uneven because this movie will be funny at one hand, and then all of a sudden, it'll shift to being very, very dramatic, and it just felt really out of place. Dan Stevens, as I said earlier, he is pretty good in this film. I did like seeing him, but he really didn't need to be in this film. I would even say, in fact, you could just have him be in the opening scene of this film because the opening scene is when he dumps Anne Hathaway. They just took out his character besides for the opening scene. The film really isn't that much different. And the last flaw I will say I had with Colossal is that there's this firecracker sequence and keep a lookout for that scene. That firecracker sequence uh, was completely unnecessary. The scene as a whole, I would say, was very unnecessary. I didn't think it really fit well with the storyline. I think it could just been part of those deleted scenes. Overall, Colossal is a very clever film. It's a very original film, and it is indeed a very thought-provoking film. This is a film that really had me think a lot. And what really impressed me about this film is not only is it a really refreshing take on the monster genre, but it's also a really good character story. I was honestly very impressed with how the characters were written. It's very beautifully shot. I thought even the special effects on the monster and this other character, they looked visually impressive. And by the time this film ended, I just had the biggest smile on my face. I am so glad I got to check out Colossal. So I'm gonna give Colossal three out of four stars. It was just very clever, it was very original. It's definitely a film that had me intrigued for the majority of its running time. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the movie Colossal. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!